It's no secret that television fans can be a little obnoxious. They record episodes so they can watch them again and again. They make YouTube videos dedicated to couples we ship in a series, and they almost always possess stuff relating to their favorite shows. Now, for all those dedicated fans out there, here are some of the strangest merchandise some of your favorite series have released. Stick around for all the juicy inside details. Firstly, are Killing Eve bosses going to release kitchenware? There have been multiple rumors swirling around that the bosses of Killing Eve, the very popular TV series, have trademarked and are coming out with a kitchen utensil line. So is it true or false? The show was a ratings hit and received widespread critical acclaim. Now it's been rumored that the creators of Killing Eve are intending to release a line of culinary equipment with the name Killing Eve already trademarked. In order to preserve the trademark, the producers are said to have registered the name with the intellectual property office. A close insider on the team added, the producers are desperate to protect their baby and have trademarked the term against various goods. Killing Eve executives, according to the BBC press office, are not planning on releasing a variety of cooking equipment and definitely not knives. So as you can see, they aren't coming out with a kitchenware line. They're just trademarking the name on plenty of potential ventures just in case. Smart idea if you ask us. Next, The Walking Dead sword merchandise. The Walking Dead is a very popular American post-apocalyptic thriller, gory, television series, which is loosely based on Tony Moore, Robert Kirkman, and Charlie Adler's comic book, which actually has the same name. Only a few years ago, The Walking Dead completely dominated television with multiple seasons receiving exceptionally high ratings. TV series has a large cast who play survivors of a zombie apocalypse that are desperately struggling to stay alive while being attacked by zombies known as walkers on a near constant basis, among other nicknames. With the fall of modern civilization, however, these survivors are forced to interact with other human survivors who have formed organizations and communities with their own set of laws and morality, which might lead to open, aggressive war. Since The Walking Dead became such a phenomenon in the TV world, they released plenty of different merchandise, however. The strangest has to be a sword. Yes, you heard that right, a sword. Do you have a spare $250? Why not get a copy of a fictitious character's zombie-killing sword? It's constructed with traditional Japanese sword making skills and comes with a bespoke sword stand and a certificate of authenticity, just in case anyone thinks you bought a fake zombie sword copy. Next, let's talk about Breaking Bad Teddy. Vince Gilligan created and produced the American neo-western crime drama television series Breaking Bad. The series was planned and filmed in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and chronicles the narrative of Walter White, Brian Cranston, a low-paid, overqualified, and depressed high school chemistry teacher who's dealing with a staged three lung cancer diagnosis. While negotiating the hazards of the criminal underground, White takes to life of crime working with his former student Jesse Pinkman, Aaron Paul, to produce and distribute crystal meth to guarantee his family's financial future before he dies. Since Breaking Bad did so well and attracted so many dedicated fans all over the globe, they naturally released a bunch of different merchandise, one of which includes a Jesse Pinkman teddy. We'll never be able to really say goodbye to Jesse Pinkman, but we we won't have to any longer. This three foot fat head will look great on your wall and pleasantly greet you every day when you return home. The anguish from the final episode of Breaking Bad is alleviated by simply glancing at his adorable swearing mug. If you love Breaking Bad, especially Jesse Pinkman, then this is a must buy. Next, we're covering the Sons of Anarchy temporary tattoo. Sons of Anarchy is a very popular American action crime drama television series that aired from 2008 to 2014. It's set in Charming, a fictional town in California's Central Valley, and follows the life of a close-knit outlaw motorcycle club. The program stars Charlie Hunnam as Jackson Jax Teller, who is the club's vice president before becoming president. He quickly starts to question the club himself and his relationships after uncovering a manifesto penned by his late father, John, who previously commanded the MC. The themes of love, fraternity, loyalty, betrayal, and redemption run throughout the show. The show had so many admirers especially those who admired the look of the cast members. If you've always wanted to be like Jax from Sons of Anarchy, but you're afraid to buy a motorcycle and join a biker gang, there's one little step you can take, get temporarily branded. It's 1111 and comes as a pair, one for you and the other for your best friend. Next up, the Big Bang Theory board game. Big Bang Theory is an insanely popular sitcom that aired on CBS in the United States. However, it quickly made its way to streaming services due to its insane popularity. Show 
show follows Leonard Hofstadter, Johnny Galecki, and Sheldon Cooper, Jim Parsons, both physicists at Caltech, share an apartment, Penny, Kaylee Cuoco, a waitress and aspiring actress who lives across the hall, and Leonard and Sheldon's similarly geeky and socially awkward friends and co-workers, aerospace engineer Howard Wallowitz, Simon Helberg, and astrophysicist Raj Kuthrapali, both Kunan Nayar. The series basically follows their day-to-day life and funny conversations. Just an all-around great comedy series. As the show did so well, they obviously wanted to profit further on the brand, so naturally, they released a board game. We're big fans of pop culture-themed board games, and Clue appears to be a fan of the Big Bang Theory. Fans of the program can add this gem to their collection of geek memorabilia, but this isn't your typical Clue game. Instead of figuring out who has done something to betray Sheldon, players must figure out who has done anything to betray Sheldon. In this version, if you love the Big Bang Theory, then this definitely is a great purchase that will bring you lots of fun and laughs with friends. Now, Game of Thrones Throne. Game of Thrones is a fantasy drama television series produced in the United States. Game of Thrones boasts a vast ensemble cast, follows multiple plot arcs throughout the course of the program, which is set on the fictitious continents of Westeros and Essos. The Iron Crown of the Seven Kingdoms of Westeros is the subject of the first major arc, which follows a web of political struggles between noble families competing for the throne or battling for independence from whoever occupies it. The last descendant of the realm's overthrown royal line, who was eventually banished to Essos, is preparing to return and regain the throne, is the subject of the second film. The Night's Watch, a military group tasked with defending the realm against threats from beyond Westeros' northern border, is featured in the third installment. It's hard to discuss obsessing over TV shows and odd TV stuff without at least mentioning Game of Thrones. Although you can't buy a dragon on eBay, yet, you can sit on the Iron Throne for $30,000. It's a little on the pricey side, but it's well worth it. Another for the list is The Good Wife Furniture. If you haven't heard of The Good Wife, then where have you been? The show's a legal and political drama television series set in the United States. It follows Alicia Florick, the wife of the Cook County State's Attorney, as she resumes her legal career following the events of her husband's public sex and political corruption scandal. Several commentators praise The Good Wife during its run, calling it network television's last great drama. The Good Wife was nominated for a number of accolades, including five Emmys. Due to its insane success, it's no surprise that they wanted to expand their brand into different kinds of merchandise. But this is a new one, a collaboration between a home furnishings firm and a television show. Mitchell Gold plus Bob Williams collaborated with The Good Wife on a range of obscenely costly furniture that is faintly reminiscent of the critically acclaimed CBS sitcom. This sofa may be expensive and probably quite unnecessary, but we know there are diehard fans out there who definitely couldn't wait to get their hands on this merchandise. Lastly on our list is Bates Motel Robe. Bates Motel is a very successful psychological horror drama television series set in the United States. It swiftly captivated the globe and at its peak was one of the most widely watched crime dramas on television. Its success, in our opinion, stems from the fact that it was yet another adaptation of the famous horror film Psycho, but it was the first time it was shown in a series format. It's no surprise that the new twist on an old classic, along with outstanding actors, resulted in a blockbuster series. So they wanted to benefit from more than just the show. Hot Topic is pushing out into the world of dramatic television. Forget band tees and goth gear. The store has partnered with Bates Motel to offer show-related goods to fans. Because a luxurious terry cloth bathrobe screams crazed killer. And there you have it, everything you need to know about the Times TV series have released strange and often random merchandise. As you can see, some are definitely weirder than others. Make sure to let us know your thoughts down below. Which one surprised you the most? Will you be purchasing any of these items mentioned? Let us know. But if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss any of our new and upcoming content. Thanks for watching.